The graph of y is equal to x squared undergoes the following transformation. Find the equation of the image in the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx for each part. So we've got a translation minus 2, 3, a stretch parallel to the x-axis scale factor uh, 1 third, a stretch parallel to the y-axis scale factor minus 4, followed by a translation 2 minus 1, a stretch parallel to the x-axis scale factor a half, followed by a translation 4, 3. So let f of x be equal to x squared. So a translation minus 2, 3 means that, that we need to do f of plus 2. Remember the sign is always opposite. And then add 3. So what we do, we substitute in here instead of x, x plus 2. So we get f of x plus 2 plus 3 will be x plus 2 all squared. So we put in x plus 2 instead of x and then add 3. If we expand this, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 3. So we end up with the final graph of y is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 7, which is in the correct format for the question. Okay, so a stretch parallel to the x-axis, scale factor one-third, that means we now need to do f of 3x, so we, the function was f of x is x squared, so f of 3x is going to be 3x all squared, so it's 3 squared, which is 9x squared, which is x squared, so we get 9x squared. It's in the format ax squared plus bx plus c, but there's no b or c. A stretch parallel to the y-axis, scale factor minus 4, is going to be four, minus 4 times f of x, so that will be minus 4x squared, followed by a translation of 2 minus 1, so that's going to be uh, 4x minus 2, so it's always opposite the sign of here, minus 1. So expanding this bit here, we get minus 4x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 1. Multiplying through by minus 4, we get minus 4x squared plus 16x minus 16 minus 1. And we end up with minus 4x squared plus 16x minus 17. That's now in the correct format as required by the question. Okay, the last one is a stretch parallel to the x-axis scale factor one half. So that's f of 2x. So remember f of x is x squared, so we put 2x instead of x. So that becomes 2x all squared, which is 4x squared. Then it's followed by a translation for 3. So that means we need to take... 4 from uh, four from each value of x and add 3. So it becomes 4x squared, expanding this, minus 8x plus 16 plus 3. So we get 4x squared minus 32x plus 64 plus 3. So we get y is 4x squared minus 32x plus 67. So that's now in the format ax squared plus bx plus c, which is the correct format. Okay, so this has been a video to show you transformations of the uh, function x squared. I hope you've understood. And I thank you very much for watching.